What's going on YouTube? Back here with another video today. Today's video, I'm at the shop, as you can see, and we're gonna be working on the grill deletes. Um, in my last video, I kind of showed you guys the progress we were making on the grill deletes, and I had a little bit of tweaking to do, and I came in today to do that. So we're gonna be tweaking the grill deletes, hopefully getting one all finished and proved out, and I figured I'd just bring you guys along and kind of show you guys what I'm doing, show you guys the shop. But before we get on all that, I need to get some coffee. So before we get started, I guess I'll take you guys and just kind of show you the shop because I don't think I've ever shown that in videos before. Let's give you a little tour. Can't really show you too much because we do a lot of work that is proprietary and they make us sign non-disclosures and all that stuff. So kind of got to avoid some areas, but I'll go ahead and take you to run shop real quick. Front office is up there. It's where you walk in. You're going to walk in and we got our CMN and that's where you can check all the parts, check all the measurements and everything, make sure the parts are good. Got our programming computers there. You got two programming computers that we program on Mastercam and Cam works on. And then our middle computer is just for storing the programs and stuff that we do. Um, come out, got a Doosan Mill Turn Center right here. This is our newest machine, pretty cool machine. You can do all kinds of stuff on this machine in one shot with live tooling heads and all that stuff. But I don't wanna get too much into that because I'm sure most of you guys will have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, got our two Fadals over here, old school machines, but these are tried and true. They've had these since the beginning of the company. That was 15 plus years ago. And these things just keep on going, man. You can't kill these old school Fadals. Pretty cool. Um, tooling and stuff like that. It's absolutely messy because everyone I work with, I'm the only one that's OCD. So that's fun. Uh, got our hosses here. These are three, just your basic super VF2 super vf2 and then we have a vf4 it's a little bit bigger and then we have our vf5 xt which is the biggest machine it's got i believe 60 inches of travel this way you can fit as you can see a bunch of vices up there but that's pretty much it very small machine shop very basic um not really a whole lot to it old school really old school lathe it's pretty cool i guess doesn't even run though so we're trying to get rid of it uh material area stack up all our bars and got the automatic saw which is really freaking nice you just literally program how long you want it to cut how many pieces walk away let it cut so um one part i can show you this is the material for it starts as that big block right there but they become these motorcycle oil pans these are pretty cool this is for a company that we do a lot of motorcycle parts for. I'm not sure I'm allowed to say the company, so I just won't, but pretty cool. These are oil pans for a motorcycle. This one is a bad part. Someone made a whoopsies on it. So this is now just a demonstration part, I guess you can say. Used to have tabs that stick up here. And basically pocket it out and bolt it up and that's your oil pan. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much the shop. It's a little machine shop, like I said, but it's pretty cool. It's a nice, I like small environments because everyone's really close and it's just a good, good work environment. So anyways, 
So, we're gonna get to work today on replicating the Grill Delete. Um, we had one made already, if you guys didn't see, I updated you guys in my last video. Make sure you guys watch all my videos so you're not out of the loop. But, we made one and needed a little tweaking to do. Basically, it's still rubbed in these areas here, and then it's got this funky little divot to it because drawing that up was a pain in the ass because I had nothing to really go off of. So I basically just plotted a shit ton of points and got it as close as I could. And it came out pretty good, but it does have this little divot to it. So I went back in there and smoothed that radius out and adjusted some things. And we're going to see how my adjustments go today. Going to see if my adjustments can make a good one right from the start. And basically that's what I have to do. I have to just go back and forth until I can get a good one off in one shot with no adjusting. So I went in here and changed some of my points, moved them around, smoothed some radiuses, and we should be good to go. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my big ass fixture plate on the machine, get everything all set up, and I'll come back to you guys. All right, so I got that big hunk of fixture plate up on the machine. As you can see, this thing is a freaking monstrosity. Super heavy, but got it up there. Got it all set up. I already dry ran the program and everything looked pretty good. Got a piece of material clamped down and we were ready to let it eat. So, without further ado, we're gonna push the button, see what happens, see if we can't get one of these made.
right guys so it's all done i went out and test fitted it on the truck and it fit really good guys i am super happy with it came out really nice as you can see this bottom radius is a lot more uniform it doesn't have that weird part where it just jutted out it's a lot more smooth it's not absolutely perfect but it's pretty damn good i mean it's really really nice guys i am super stoked with it came out really good you can see it's nice and uniform it's no crazy juts or jagged edges or parts the top corner is a little weird you can see there the radiuses are just a little funky but overall i think this is going to be really nice and i'm really happy with it i think i'm done tweaking it looks really good there is some more processes i need to look into these are not ready yet this is technically proven out and done if you guys don't know jc customs is a cnc machinist like myself and he is the official sponsor of the channel you guys have seen his products and if you don't know you need to go check him out the link is in the description use code debtlife to save 10 percent off your order but he makes all kinds of badass parts for our trucks and all the other platforms as well he can pretty much make whatever you want but JC Customs is the official sponsor of this channel. Badass dude, all kinds of lightning stuff. So go check him out if you haven't already. Most of, uh, most of you should know by now though. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this off to JC Customs and let him test fit it on his truck as well. Because I do figure that there might be some variance from truck to truck on fitment. So I wanna make sure that it fits another truck, not just mine. So I'm sending it off to JC Customs, let him test it out see what he thinks of it, make sure it fits good, and then he can have it. He can be the first one to have the official Debt Life Project Grill Delete, so that's pretty cool. Since he did all that badass stuff for me, he gave me the TVS swap, mid plate, the pulley bridge. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put a card in the top corner, go check it out, and the link in the description as well. But he always hooks me up, so I'm gonna hook him up with the first official Debt Life Project Grill Delete. Hopefully he gets it and it fits nice so we can go ahead and start the process on these. But even if not, he can tell me where to tweak it. I'll make some more tweaks and we will get this thing dialed in and ready for you guys. But we've already made some killer progress. As you can see, we started with, this is the first one we made and we had some tweaks to make. You can see how this juts out real heavy right here. And that's what I wanted to fix, make it look a little more uniform and nice. And I think we did that. It looks really good, guys, and it fits nice, too. So I can't wait. I'm pretty stoked, as you can tell, because I'm just kind of rambling. But I'm super stoked to get these to you guys. They are coming. Not ready yet. I'm going to look into some more things. I need to now start getting pricing on material, because I've just been kind of cheating and using what we had at the shop already, just some leftover stock. So I need to get pricing on material. I need to, do, need to see how much time I have in these and other outside processes add it all up get a price for you guys but they're definitely coming guys we're making some killer progress and i am super stoked so i can't wait yeah now the fun part comes now i got to clean up this colossal mess that i made got to get all these chips out of the machine and make sure it's nice and clean because we already had a job set up over here it's a different type of material so i want to make sure i get all this aluminum out of the machine so it doesn't mix with the steel because when we do chip runs, if it's mixed up in there, they get a little mad. They won't let you take the chips in. So um, let me know if you guys want to see videos of that too, because I'm the one who normally takes all the chips to the scrapyard. And maybe we can do a thing out of that. I don't know if that's something you want to see. It's pretty cool. Maybe we can do a little giveaway on who can guess the weight of the chips I have. I'll show all the bags of chips in the back of the truck and the closest person get a free sticker. I don't know. Something like that who knows if that's something you guys are interested in let me know down below any other content that you guys want to see let me know down below maybe i'll show you guys some more of what i do throughout the day as far as at the shop maybe some machining content if i ever get a job that i'm allowed to show you guys i mean not everything is proprietary but we do get a lot of stuff that i'm probably not allowed to show you so but if that's something you guys want to see let me know in the comments down below i'm going to go ahead and clean up this mess and i'll come back to you guys
as you can see I'm back home trucks running pretty damn good wanted to figure I'd just go ahead and throw some exhaust and idle clips in there for you guys but I made it home pretty good um, reason I say that is cuz of course right when I'm about to leave it started freaking pouring rain you can see it's kind of dark over there still but it's actually brightening up over here but pouring rain I'm on drag radials so I'm just cruising but made it home pretty good trucks running really stout guys as you can hear from the little clips I did I mean this thing is running good sounding good super happy ready for the trip if you guys don't know I'll put a link in the description to that video as well. But there is a huge, huge, huge lightning meet that you guys are not going to want to miss. If you can make it, you need to make it. Deadline is August 1st to pay for the laps and sign up so you can be there. You're not going to want to miss it. We're going to Charlotte Motor Speedway. We're going to do laps around the speedway with all kinds of other events and stuff going on. It's going to be a freaking riot. Always a blast, guys. Do not miss the meet. Like I said, I'm going to put a link in the description. To the meet so you can go check that out if you're not up to speed on that but i can't wait the truck is running really good the only thing i really want to do to it is maybe like a good paint correction kind of get it back up to par because it has been a while since i've done something like that it's probably been a year since i've shined it up real good and took time and clay barred and polished it and all that stuff so it's due and i'm probably going to do that for the meet so it looks really good um i fixed a small exhaust leak we had as you can see these gaskets look like absolute crap and they're just deteriorating um my long tubes to mid pipe connection wooden seal the guy who did the motor install so what he did is he cut the ends off and put flanges and welded flanges on there and these flange gaskets that he just had he and the flange gaskets that he used were absolute crap and the hardware was too i mean yeah, i guess he just used whatever he had laying around so I went ahead and put new flange gaskets with all new hardware, some zinc plated bolts, everything's really nice, cleaned it up, and this thing's ready to go, man, it's running good. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out for those things. Make sure you guys go check out the links and videos in my description for info on the huge lightning meet that's coming up. It's gonna be in August, I think it's the 19th through the 21st, but all the information's in that video, so go check that out if you wanna attend. We're trying to get as much as many trucks as we can, so far we have over 80 confirmed trucks coming with more to come. So don't sleep on that guys. Check out that video. Do what you can to come. It's going to be sick. It's going to be a movie. Of course I'm going to do a video of it, but it's going to be sick. And then of course, grill deletes to come. You saw the progress we made today. It looks really good. So that's off to JC so he can test fit. Give me his kind of second opinion of it. Make sure it fits a different truck other than mine. And we're good to go but that's gonna be it for today's video guys make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it's free only takes a second click that like button really helps out the videos if you haven't already subscribe to the channel for more all kinds of lightning content and some other content to come and we'll see you all in the next video guys later